right, welcome back to Old Man Tech. Um, well, I just did a fresh start, so it's, or I say fresh start, I did a complete uninstall, reinstall, just to uh, clear this thing all out, and you can see it's updating the uh, the Kodi uh, stuff here. But um, today we're going to install um, Genesis. That's right, Genesis is back um, under a new uh, new developer, I guess, um, Specto. Uh, but this, this is what's called a Genesis fork. A fork is when uh, a different person takes over a, uh, a project or an add-on they uh, it's called a fork why I don't know but it doesn't matter we're going to install Genesis is back now Genesis is not a hundred percent once you know we'll install it here here and uh, go into it and you'll notice that a couple of the categories aren't working quite right yet but uh, at least there is somebody that is updating it keeping it uh, you know keeping it up to date and all that stuff so let's go ahead and install it really simple to install um, Install just like most normal uh, add-ons. Let's go ahead and go to System and File Manager. Go and add the source, and I'll put this down in the description, of course. Um, HTTP for, uh, colon four slash four slash. This is uh, film Cody F I L M Cody dot com forward slash repository R E P O S I T O R Y film Cody dot com forward slash repository, and we are going to say done here come down here and it automatically puts repository in there i change it just so i i know this is by specto s p e is it k t o or c t o i'm going to say c t o but i'm not sure if it's uh it may be k t o hmm anyway and i'm going to put uh j e n e s i s 4 just so we know all right and it doesn't matter like i said you can call it whatever you want done okay Right there, it is really, really simple. No error, so it must be right. Now we're going to go back to system and add-ons. From there, we will install from a zip file from the location that we just specified. Now I noticed that it does take a while to install. By the way, it's this last one down here. This is zip file. Um, you could technically install it, I think, from um, up here, um, but this will keep it up to date. So as there's new updates, you will stay updated. So let's let's do it from this repository. .com .zip. So we will click that. Now I noticed, like I said, when I was installing this uh, yesterday to test it, it would get to like three percent and just sit there. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, this part's good. I guess when we actually install from the repository, it gets to about three percent and then it just sits there forever. And I'm assuming because the uh, the server is so bogged down from everybody installing it. But uh, so let's try it today. Um, okay. You saw that it is enabled. Good to go. Let's install it from the repository. It is the Cody filmcody.com repository. Let's click that and go to our video add-ons, and there it is, Specto Genesis Fork. As you can see there down the bottom, it is uh, version 2016.131.1. So it is a brand new version. Let's go ahead and click that, and we'll tell it to install. And there we go, 1%. 3%. Now, this is where it just stood there for a while. Let's see. Uh, if it does it again, I'll, I'll fast forward. All right. So, you can see that it is uh, is enabled. It took quite a while, like two minutes, which two minutes isn't a long time, but when you're installing something like this, um, it does seem to take a while. Like I said, it does sit at 3%. It just sits there, and all of a sudden it's done. So, anyway, and uh, so real quick, let me read the, what Lambda said. Lambda is the original uh, creator of Genesis. Um, this is what he said about the uh, the Specto, the Genesis 4. He says, and I'm going to quote this, says, I think he changed the author's name. This is good. I want nothing to do with Genesis. I hope he will also remove Genesis from the name. So I guess eventually this will change to something else. Um, I don't want his users asking for help to me. Uh, I don't have the time of it. I am very busy. If you have any questions, you should go and ask that guy. I won't check the code of every Genesis fork that is released or will be released. I don't care about Genesis anymore. And if you trust this guy, install it. If you don't trust him, don't install it. It's that simple. So there you go. So uh, yeah, he uh, he is done with Genesis. I know he's had problems with I think some uh, some some feedback from uh, users. Uh, he's got a lot of heat for something, and he's just done with it. So uh, anyway, so this guy, Specto, looks like he's going to take care of it. So let's now go back and go to our video add-ons. And there it is. And it does, we'll switch the view so we can see. Um, it does use the same same icon or whatever, so I'm sure that'll change along with the name and all that. But for right now, it's called Genesis. Let's go into it. There you go. You can see the newest version, 
blah, blah, blah. There's all the change log. Let's go ahead and get out of there. And there you go. Same old uh, menus as the original Genesis. Go in here to movies. And blah, blah, blah. Let's go in. Now, like I said, I did see a couple of these are not working yet. Like I went into the years. I tried to go in 2006. And nothing happened. 2015, nothing happened. 14, nothing happened. 13. So none of these, I guess this menu isn't quite working yet. Um, also went into genres. I think wasn't working. Um, people what featured... Which one was working? Most popular, I think, did work. So, uh, no? no? People watching? No. Oh, that works. People watching. Uh, I guess this is what people are physically watching now. So, you can go in here and, uh, up oh, Groundhog Day. Yep, today's Groundhog Day, by the way. February 2nd, 2016. So, that's a very appropriate thing. But anyway, yeah, you do click on it. You get the different sources and you click the right source. So, you know, just like, like always. And also, it does support libraries. Um, like, here, let's go into TV shows real quick. Let's go into uh, Most Popular. See, so yeah, that doesn't work. People watching. There we go. People watching does work. Let's go. Let's just pick X Files. Just something. Um, oh, let's go back up. I'm sorry. Pick uh, X Files. We'll right click on it. Say add to library. See, so you can add it to the library. Boom. That did work. That was one of the best features, of course, of Genesis. Um, let's go to files real quick. I'm just quickly adding or setting up libraries. Um, if you want to know how to do that. I do have another uh, video on my channel that shows how to do that. I'm just going to do this really quick just to show that it does work. Alrighty, there we go. Refresh it. Yes, refresh it. Boom. Um, should refresh it. Oh, I think there's like nine episodes nine seasons so it's going to take just a second maybe i picked the wrong one i should have picked something that was a little shorter but uh yeah like i said it does uh support libraries so you can see all your latest um latest episodes as they are updated on that home screen again i should have picked something smaller so it went faster but uh that's me let's go back to the home screen you see that tv shows was created here and recently added episodes will come up here eventually as soon as this finishes. Stupid me. Go to TV shows. <clears throat> yeah, I should have. I should have waited. Or I should have got a smaller, smaller show. But I never do things the correct way anyway. <laughs> there you go. And, next, and you can see there's 73 episodes. X-Files is updating. So anyway, so that part does work. Oh, there they go. They're starting to update. Um, but there you go. Uh, that's how you install the new Genesis Fork by Specto. Uh, like I said, I assume they will be changing the name shortly, but uh, as far as I can tell, it does work like the old Genesis. Hopefully this guy will keep it up to date, um, keep the links you know, current and all that. So uh, anyway, hats off to Specto. So all right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.